Good morning and welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing the Ring of Steel. And I'm going to be doing it not just for myself, but I'm going to be doing it for a charity. And the charity I'm doing it for is Iceland's Charitable Foundation for Action for Children, as you can see. So today we're at the Glen Nevis Upper Car Park here just near Fort William. At this this is a starting point for the Ring of Steel. And as you can see it's kind of spectacular scenery around here. It's a uh, it's a really nice day. It's a bit overcast but it's dry at the moment. And as you can see, that there is the area map for the Ring of Steel. A lot of nice wildlife. And this walk here, to begin with, just, just this walk up to the Ring of Steel itself is a fantastic walk. We've done a little hike just to check it out yesterday, see what it was like. And I would highly recommend that for somebody that just wants a 15, 20 minute hike. It's a cracking route, really exciting. So for now guys, I'm gonna start getting on my way. It's about half past five, quarter to six in the morning. Quarter to six in the morning. It's Friday, the 24th of June. And hopefully this is gonna be a good walk today. So I'll see you a bit further up. This is me coming to the end of the path before I hit Steel Falls and I don't know if you can notice it's just started raining but that's not an issue that will cool me down a little bit actually it's so humid and warm today that I've actually already I've already had to take some layers off because it's so warm but this is a uh, the part of the walk where you come out of the valley there onto this kind of lower plane and this is where you get your sight of our first sight of Steel Falls so for anybody out there that doesn't know what Steel Falls is I don't know if I'm close enough to catch it on GoPro but That there is Steel Falls. So when I get a bit closer I'll show you it in more detail. Right guys, at this point, there might be a little surprise for some people, others will know about it of course, but for some of you that might be wanting to be watching for the first time, we've got this little surprise. Now we can either cross over the water, just here It's quite shallow Or 
you can do the bridge. Nope. Put these on the others now, on the chest. Oh. Right. As you can see, I'm going to be taking a long drop if I fall off of here. A little bit wobbly today. Actually feels a little bit slippery because of that rain, I think. Of course, I've done this yesterday just to have a little check, see what it was like. And of course you can be daft like I was yesterday and say, oh, let's have a little bounce on this, woohoo! You know? But then you've got to wait for it to stop bouncing before you can carry on. And the water down there is not too deep. Probably waist, waist deep, just below me. Maybe a little bit deeper. But of course there's steel falls up there. I've just got a spider's cobweb right across my face. <laughs> it must have been from one side to the other. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically the, the rope bridge. Pretty simple for most people. Of course you can cross the river at almost any part here, it's pretty shallow, there's nothing deep. Hey guys, just to show you kind of scale, at this minute I feel pretty insignificant when you look up there. It doesn't really show very well on the GoPro, but that is pretty impressive standing here. And the views round about. So, as you can see, we're starting to make a bit of progress uphill now. Starting to get some elevation. That there is the path that I'm going to be heading up. I'm going to be heading way up to the top of there. And where we've just come from is a way in the distance up here. You maybe not see it in the GoPro, but there's a waterfall. The car park is just below that waterfall. And the path leads down through the valley here along the side of the water, over the bridge, 
and then down this side of the water and then up this path here it's a really lovely hike so we're starting to gain a bit of elevation now just thought I'd show you where we've come from and where we're going Right, we're starting to make good progress now we can see over to the other side of Fort William which is down at the other side of that valley there so we're gaining a good bit of height now and we're actually pretty high up now and look at this This little guy right there We are pretty high up in the, in the hills here And that's the kind of wildlife you get to see A little frog this far up Pretty cool But This climb here is rather steep This path is been winding back and forward all the way down here all the way and the reason it's zigzag like that is because this is so steep it's almost vertical so for now it's onwards and upwards This is Angirniach has 800, uh, sorry, 982 meters high. So this is some of the first, and this is my number 59. Hashtag 59. I'll put the description up in on the screen. So I'll have a wee bite to eat and a wee rest It's just gone half past 8 So it's taken me 2 and 3 quarter hours is isn't too bad It's about average And then I'll catch you in a bit See, I've put my beanie hat on. It's now, it's now going on nine o'clock. Sat here for about 20, 25 minutes now, having something to eat, a bite. Started to cool down, so I've got the beanie hat on, and I've got another layer on underneath. Certainly for now. When you sit around like that, it gets a bit cold. So I'm going to get on my way now and head up to the next one, number two of the day. And it looks like the sun's coming out a little bit. So hopefully as the day goes on, the weather might get a bit better. So this is where the real kind of fun begins and you've got drops and climbs and scrambles this is where the real fun begins all that climbing up at the start that's just the intro into this kind of terrain and this is what we do it for I 
little bit of fun, a little bit of excitement, a little bit of a challenge. Everybody should do something in their life that excites them. Our little friends here don't seem to be too bothered. Just a little bit skittish, but not too bad. Looks like they're gonna lead the way for me. The local Sherpas. <laughs> oh. Right, at this point I'm going to put these on my chest It's good for you to see the more exciting bits of the walk A little bit of a scramble you'll not get the full effect on the GoPro but it's, uh, it's pretty steep down there so you can take here you can take the top path which is a big slab or you can take the easy bottom path I'll just stick to the easy bottom path today seeing as I'm on my own better to be safe than sorry There you go, he could have came up this way here But that's a slab with a straight drop off there So like I said, better to be safe than sorry
That was a little exciting bit. As you can see, over here is where I've came from. Oh, wow. Broken Spectre, guys. Yeehaw. Good to get a picture of that. Oh, it's kind of faded now. Oh, what a shame. That was a good sp broken spectre there. Don't know if I captured it on picture. Maybe just. Hey, right, so I'll turn these off for now and I'll get back to these in a bit. Hey, right, just so you lot can see where I've been and where I'm gone to so away in the distance down here between the valley is where I started I've come all the way along the valley up the side of this hill here onto the top of here and then I've came up to the top of this ridge here and down that steep face down into that bielak down there and now got to go way up there so a steep descent back up to a steep ascent up to the top of the second oh what a day Number 60, second of the day. Oh, this is Stub Coria Cairn, and it is at 981 meters. And this is my 60th one row. So it is now ten o'clock. So it's ten o'clock, so it's taken me an hour from over the other side there. It's not too bad. So I'll have a wee rest here, get my, get my obligatory photographs, selfies and all that, and I'll be back with you in a bit. As you can see, I've now been able to change into clothing where I don't have to have my winter shell on. Um, and I've got my Iceland charitable t-shirt on for Action for Kids and I'm going to be heading up to that one now right up here so it's now quarter past ten I've had a wee rest there and I'm on my way now to Anne Bodak And that's some mountain. I'm 
I'm not quite sure what Anne Bodak means But it does look quite intimidating Now while the wind eased down a little bit here I would like to mention um, A very big thank you To my best buddy My bro My brother for another mother If you like And his family for the really kind donations him and his family gave and sent the, the boys to Sentinel Squad UK Now for all yous out there who have probably never heard of Sentinel Squad UK They do charity work All year round And they raise money And an awful lot of money Thousands upon thousands of pounds every year for charities for kids So if you're into anything Star Wars, anybody watching this If you like Star Wars, you love the movies You collect, maybe collect memorabilia, anything like that Or you're just curious to see what they do Well these guys are in full costume They tour around Mostly England All year Opening events and uh, raising money for kids they do fantastic work go on to Instagram or Facebook and look up Sentinel Squad UK these guys do some fantastic work you really need to check it out if you like Star Wars or anything Star Wars so, that's one of my recommendations for you today So remember that name, Sentinel Squad UK And have a wee look And of course we can all do a little bit more for kids charities There's a lot of people struggling right now Right, this is us ready to start the ascent proper of Anne Bodak and it's going to go way up there and it looks pretty steep for here so catch you soon guys Alright, I'm about halfway up Anne Bodak it's very steep all the way down there and for anybody who doesn't know that mountain right here in the background is Ben Nevis and that curve that you see just here is a small ridge about a meter or so wide in places it's called the CMD Erit and the little pointy mountain at the side of it is the CMD so if anybody out there wants to really do a good climb to Ben Nevis that's the route you take up behind and then go down the tourist route tourist route can be rather boring so if you're wanting a wee bit of adventure and you're, you're actually capable to do that that route there up the back and you'll not catch it on this GoPro but you can just see the actual hut and cairn on the top of Ben Nevis right here what a fantastic view and if you notice Ben Nevis is shaped like a big humpback whale 
<laughs> so I'll leave these with that. I think I'm coming to the top now guys. Bodak. And I think Anne Bodak sits at around 1032 metres. And that was pretty tough coming up there. Pretty steep. Oh. Yeehaw, chuffed. I'm now past my 60. So I'm into the 60s now. So here on in, it's a uh, push on. Oh. Yep. Have a wee quick rest and then I'll get on it again. And the views from up here are spectacular. Oh wow. Loch, Loch Lenny in that down there. Uh, over here, just, just all over there, you've got the Anarchy Gat Gridge just here in front, that this bit, and then behind that you've got Bidding and Bian, and you've also got over here, that's Bukalet of Moor. So the front one is Stop Jerag. The one in the middle, the pointy bit is a declassified and then you've got Stobna Bruyga at the back. You've got the little buckle which sits next to it, which is Stob Cory Rainac and Stob Do at the back. And I don't know if your GoPro will pick it up. Now this is this is all the way up Loch Ranach, or way up in the distance, it's Loch Ranach. And the point, the very pointy bit, I'll maybe put a photograph up because you'll not see it on this, but there's a pointy mountain away in the background there and that is Shehalian. And of course back around to Ben Nevis. Oh wow, what a view from up here. And just here is Glencoe Village. And the Papa Glencoe up here. Oh, this is a great viewpoint. So I'll maybe put some pictures up to let you see a little bit closer up. So this is me coming up to my fourth percent of the day up there. It's not a Monroe. That over there is a Monroe. So I've got to go all the way along that ridge and of course there's where I've came from all the way up here all the way along up there down this and up and Bodak to the top there which is really steep coming up that bit there oh what a day Right, this is a bit that I've came to, it's a bit of a scramble. Now, there's a path that way, down that side, which takes you up around that corner. There's also a path down this way, which obviously means you're going to have to climb it the other side, or we can just go across this piece here. If for here it looks like 
there's nothing much to it so I'm wondering why there's a path either side why not just go in that so I'll put these on my chest um, I'm going to go straight over let's see let's see what the fuss is about why there's a path at either side a little jump there oh right I know I see why there's a path at either side because that's a, a slide into this rock here and it's a quite a big drop at either side so there's a big drop down there and there's a big drop behind me so I guess I need to go into this rock here oh, oh now I've got a, now I've got a leap of faith to go guys <laughs> that's why there's a path at either side so let's see let's go for it no too bad oh, first little scramble out of the way This is Skurna Mame and this is my 62nd Monroe and the 4th today Wow, that's my uh, Monroe challenge done See what time it is It's going on quarter to one So from quarter to six this morning it's Seven hours To get up here And finish it But of course it's going to take me An hour or so to get down But That's pretty good going, seven hours And I've had breaks in between it every one I always guarantee a minimum of 15 minutes break to just rehydrate every single Monroe and Monroe top and then uh, just down here at the Devil's Ridge bit where I'd done the wee leap of faith had a wee break after that one as well <laughs> wasn't quite change underwear stuff but it was close <laughs> oh. but what a wonderful day and for a great charity so I'm going to end the video here Oh, look at that, throwing these over now I'm going to end the video here um, for now and I'll catch these when I get back down at the bottom for a little round up but for now let's have a look at that there's Fort William down there in the distance as well what a view for here now I'll stand right up on the top here highest point and by the way, Skurna Mame for anybody that's wondering is 1,099 metres there's Ben Nevis oh. this is an awesome view for here hey, it's easing a bit Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you've stuck it out this long in the video, then uh, thank you so much. It was really well appreciated. Uh, 
and if you're one of the ones that contributed to the charity in any way whatsoever whether it's donating or doing an event yourself thank you it's greatly appreciated um it's just gone two o'clock that's me at the lower car park here so that's me officially finished it's so basically eight and a quarter hours with break times in between that's not too bad and it is a scorchery day up here look at that it is blue skies absolutely fantastic and of course I'm at the lower falls and my wife was supposed to be here to collect me and she's not but anyway uh, I'd still like to say a thank you to a few people uh, Mark, my buddy his wife, his family his friends at Sentinel Squad UK um, I'd also like to thank uh, Suzanne and Colin who are great friends of mine and they not only gave a donation they actually went and collected for me as well so that was well above and beyond so Suco Sled Dogs S-U-C-O Suco Sled Dogs you can check them out they do dog racing and all sorts of other stuff so yeah Sentinel Squad and Suco Dog Sleds check them out and guys, if you've uh, liked this video, get a wee subscribe, a wee share and a wee like, and even a comment. It helps out the channel immensely. I mean, it only takes two seconds to like and subscribe. Even if you don't watch the video ever again, you've done me a favor and it helps more people see the charity. There you go. So, the more people that see the videos, the more money they might spend on the charity but last but not least if you're going to be good doing some Monroe's enjoy it but most importantly stay safe and for now catch us later